Martin, in the passing, I just wonder what you make of uh, this observation from Tony in Liverpool. Jim Pep Linders should replace Jurgen Klopp. Continuity. I'm serious. Now, I don't think Linders is going to get it, mm. but has he got a point? Well, I d- um, we've just mentioned this here about continuity. I, yeah. I'm, I'm not wildly sure. You know, I... The, I, th- I think that they, they will Liverpool I don't know but I think that they will probably start to look outside I was uh, watching the game yesterday very closely with uh, assistant producer Joe we we were at Wembley and I must admit looking back in it I thought Conor Gallagher didn't deserve to be in a losing side neither did Cole Palmer but Chelsea lost but how did they lose did they choke or are there green shoots for the owners to point to uh, Mr Zegbali and Bully didn't want to talk to us at the end well it wasn't really like that just now's not the time and that was fine totally understood that but there was criticism in no uncertain terms from certain quarters um, Gary Neville labelled them yesterday the, the blue billion pound bottle jobs Pochettino took that on at full time I don't hear I don't hear what he said but I think if you compare the the age of the of the two groups I think it's similar but I have good relationship with, with Gary and I don't know is that this uh how I can take you know, this opinion, but I respect his opinion. Of course, we, we made a few changes, you know, uh, like Gallagher and, and of course, um, Chilwell um, on extra time. But it's true, we didn't keep the energy, you know, that was how we finished on the, on the second half. I don't know how you can describe this situation, uh, but for sure I feel proud. I feel proud to the players. I think they made a big effort. We are a young team and nothing to compare with Liverpool, you know, because they finished with also a few young players, you know. I think it's impossible to compare. And he knows, and he knows if, you know, he knows that the dynamics are completely different. We were playing today Liverpool and Chelsea, Chelsea, Liverpool, and I think it's not fair to talk in this way if he say that. What do you take out of what Pochettino was saying there, Simon? Maybe more significantly, the way he said it. I, I take this is the reason why I don't see him winning very much with Chelsea, despite my protestation that they'll win something in the next three years. Not with Pochettino, I don't think. I always thought they'd get them close and up the pyramid, in, or up the table, certainly. Um, I think they've someone... I mean, Neville must have been practising that line all week in his little overlap gang and being quite pleased with himself to get it out on air. Um, the core team bottle jobs, you're calling them cowards, effectively. And I would expect a manager, he doesn't have to dance to anybody's tune, but I'd expect it to be a little bit of bristle and a little bit, maybe something's lost in translation, maybe that's just the nature of the beast. But I personally would like to see my manager be a little bit more robust in the pushback of that observation and a little bit more prickly about the sentiments of my team. I mean, you called Arsenal bottle jobs last season. Because they did. <coughs> so this is different. Um, what, what, getting beaten on an individual game? Arsenal, Chelsea weren't in front of this game. They weren't one nil up until the 91st minute and then conceded two goals in the last 10 minutes. Arsenal were 10 points or nine points clear and choked on the basis of losing against Southampton and or drawing against Southampton and lo- drawing against West Ham and losing against other sides. So that was a fair observation. Can't make it now. They're a different animal now. Um, and I don't think it's about choking. I just don't think Chelsea are a, a great side at this no, moment. No, but those who say this was a Liverpool B team that they lost to yesterday. Well, again, people can say what they want, but again, we're talking about ages of players. As I just said to you, the statistic going around that Chelsea started with a much younger lineup than Liverpool, when all the changes were made, still ended up with a much younger lineup. It, you know, are we suggesting that Chelsea are the finished article? We make a lot about this billion pound spend, which is seven hundred million pound net because they've sold three hundred million pounds of players. You know, at the end of the day, Chelsea aren't where they should be. They're not the project that we, everyone thought they were going to be, and there's lots of reasons why. And one of them currently has been the managerial appointments. Pochettino's a decent manager. He'll do a decent job for you. But I, I, I take away, in the word, in, without being overly indulgent in semantics, I take away the observation that I look at a manager that doesn't fire the way I think he should. Every time I see him, it's very laissez-faire. It's almost as if it's, it might be his de- disposition, his demeanour, and it might be one for the media. But I would like to see a manager put Neville back in his place because his contribution to manager, manager, managerial successes was Valencia. Yeah, yeah. Do you find that with Pochettino, Martin, that yesterday he should have been more on the front foot when he heard someone just called you blue billion pound bottle jobs? Well, would you have taken that on much more, much more aggressively? Well, I'd like to think so. Yeah, I, I know. 
First of all, it doesn't really matter about somebody's opinion. If, if, a, if a reporter is saying that Gary Neville has mentioned this, I agree with Simon. Uh, Gary's thought this up during the course of the week and at some stage or another he's going to use it. So the best time to use it is not during the course of the 90 minutes because the 90 minutes could have gone either way, but it's to use it then in the... In, um, when uh, Liverpool have got a couple of young lads playing in the side, and that Liverpool or that Chelsea seem seem to run out of energy and stuff like this here seem to, you know, you can make a lot of assumptions just on the on the back of uh, of the last uh, thirty minutes of a game. Anyway, here's the point. Absolutely, I did. You know, there's there's you would you would be prickly. You would be saying to yourself, "Well, in, you know, I'm just I've just finished a game here. I've just lost a trophy." I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm, I'm just coming out of the dressing room where people are hopefully mm. are feeling the real pain about it and you ask me a question about somebody saying that we end up bottling. You would, you, you would, you would go mad. Is there any, any element of truth to it? Because the, the, it could be argued they choked. Well, we, we, you see, you, again, you can draw a lot of uh, conclusions from, from... If you want to do this, if, if you're just talking about this particular... this game on its own, over the 90 minutes, it could easily have gone Chelsea's way. Kelleher, who was absolutely fantastic, yes, has yeah. made two great, great yeah, saves. Yeah. And I, I, you know, Jurgen Klopp called him world class. And funnily enough, my we had him as a young kid in in the Republic of Ireland squad, just a very, very young lad. And Seamus McDonough, my goalkeeping coach, said he will be world class goalkeeper. So he has done. He has been terrific because he's made a great, great save to, from Palmer. I think early on proceedings, and he's made another great save after there from Conor Gallagher. Mm. The, Chelsea could have won in the ninety minutes. Okay, so now in isolation, if you want to take the the next thirty minutes, you might have a point because Chelsea lost the game, and the victors always call the tune. Yeah, this is the point. But in the overall picture of things. In the overall picture, it's a trophy loss that Chelsea could have... When they looked at the side, they looked at the side that they were playing against with all those Liverpool players, the great, great Liverpool players sitting in the back bench, that's the time you thought, we can win this We game. can win it, yeah. Has Simon got a point that Pochettino is in danger of living up to his bridesmaid tag? Until you win. You have to win. You have to win. This is the game about winning. And for a, for a club like Chelsea, who've been used to winning, you know, for quite some over over the last twenty years, you've got to win. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Friday mornings from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.